Hey, viewers, welcome. Give me just a sec here. Okay, welcome on you guys. I'm live again. This is the second time this week. As you guys jump on, say hi. Let us know where you're watching from. We're gonna talk about transfers today. All right, starting to see some comments. Hi, Hillary. Hi, Patty. Dixie Bell's on, the party can start. Yvonne from North Florida, Sherry from Texas. Another Patty, hello. Okay, you guys, let's get started. So today is a fun day. So we are live on the Dixie Bell page, but also simultaneously my page, Lotus Theory Designs, and my YouTube channel, Lotus Theory Designs. So, but the Dixie Bell main page, the um, main page, all of the brand ambassador, well, actually not all, I'm sorry, most of us are going live all day today to talk about the new bells and whistles transfers. And I'm here today to give you my demo. I'm gonna to talk to you about two transfers. There's a whole lot of them. Um, I love the variety of designs that Dixie Bell has. Um, hold on a second, I'm so sorry. You are killing my vibe. Sorry, you guys, teenagers. Anyways, where was I? <laughs> I thought you guys probably heard that my mic came with me. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm so sorry. Back to where I was. So we're talking about um, new transfers. We're uh, the ones the brand ambassadors that are going to be going on today are going to be presenting um, their uh, choosing of two. And there's a, a big variety of transfers. So I love that Dixie Bell did that. You know, it's not all just one thing or one look. There's a little something in the transfer line for everybody and everybody's style. So I really like that approach. Um, so I have this piece. If you watched me live yesterday, I did begin work on this piece. We laid the base coat. And last night I went ahead and laid part of the sunflower transfer onto the piece. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna start with that. So, okay. So this is the sunflower transfer. And let's turn it around. So on the back side of the transfers, you can see all of the components and all the different designs that are going to come in your tube. Um, so if you look closely, the bottom there, that's what I put here last night. I actually added the leaves. I hand painted, painted the leaves um, and added them. I'm not really sure if I'm going to, well, I'm not sure how it's going to come, how it's going to be completed, but. I, I do see more leaves in the mix. And I'm also going to demonstrate adding um, a piece, maybe here, maybe here, I don't know. The cool thing about these transfers, you guys, that they're so easy to use. In your tube, it's gonna come with instructions. Okay, so all the brand ambassadors that are on today are gonna give you instructions, but it's nice to have um, you know, something to reference in your hand. So this comes in the tube. And this comes in the tube, and this is gonna be your applicator stick. This is what's gonna help you burnish on your transfer. So if you guys have any questions as we go, let me know. And I will try to keep an eye. <laughs> Immaculate workshop. I'm telling you guys, it's a facade. It's really not that neat behind. I, I look at that mess, I can't even look at it. I get anxiety. Okay, so I already pre-cut some of the sunflower pieces. And I'm not saying we're going to use them all, but I just cut them out to, I don't know, kind of see and get a visual of what I might want to do. So there's all different shapes. Some are leaning to the right, some to the left. I've got one here that sticks straight up, just aiming right for the sun. I like that one. Okay. And my thought was, I talked about this yesterday when I began work on it. I don't know, I like the idea of the flowers kind of, maybe there's a wind that came through, whoosh, and kind of blew some of the leaves and some of the flowers. Okay, so that's kind of my thought process here. 
So with that said, sticking to the theme, this one's kind of pointing that way. So maybe we'll start with this one. So very easy to use. I'm gonna give you the demo and talk about how you apply them. Let's stick it right there. Yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Okay, so this paint was applied yesterday. I let it sit um, many hours. I did apply this last night. Usually I like to let my pieces, the paint dry overnight, but um, I was up to like two in the morning staring at this. So I went ahead and put this on last night just so I could kind of um, get a direction of where I wanted to go with you guys today. So it's a good idea to let your paint sit get really dry. And when I say dry, I don't mean just dry to touch, okay? I mean, it's no longer cool to touch um, and it's nice and dry so that it accepts the transfer. And then the two will just bond to each other. So I took the backing off of the transfer and let's just lay it down, okay? What I love about these transfers is they are sticky. So I can set it there and remove my hands. But also, if it's, I didn't really want it there, I was very easily able to remove it and reposition it, okay? And I did that because I didn't press too hard. So I'm just tapping it just enough to give it some tack, okay? But again, if I don't want it there, I can remove it. But I do want it there. So let's go ahead and get it placed. So let's talk about the quality of these transfers. You guys, they're so good. I was able to go around. Well, hold on, let me get this on there and then I'll move the camera in. So right now I'm just making sure that it's on there nice and good. Whoops, you guys, I'm having a day. Having a day. My teenager doing weird stuff in the, the doorway there threw me off. Okay, so let me that's good for now. Bring you in. So the cool thing about the quality of these transfers is that they're pretty thick. I was able to come down and around and lay that transfer around the curves and even that sharp edge without compromising the structural integrity of the transfer. So love, love, love that. All right. So now that I have that on there, I'm going to grab my stick that came in the tube and I'm going to burnish it in. Let me bring you guys in a little bit. Yes, no cracks, exactly, Yvonne. And I think that's because they're thicker. I mean, they're not super thick, but they're thick enough to be able to withstand a bit of abuse. And you know, us artists, when we're in, in the zone in our art, can get a little abusive with our supplies. I know I do anyway, I'm pretty heavy handed. So right now I'm just doing a preliminary burnish. Okay, I'm just getting it on there. Okay, so once I'm satisfied that it is on there, so you know, enough to begin to peel back that top layer, I'm gonna do just that. And I'm gonna do that slowly and I'm gonna burnish along the way. Thank you, Grapevine Decor. Says I created a beautiful background on this piece. Yeah, when we were working on that yesterday, I said, you guys, I had to leave you with the ugly phase of it. I'm like, I promise it'll come together. All right, so as I rub, I'm gonna slowly peel back. These transfers release very easily. So I'm just peeling back slowly, okay? You never want to just rip that top layer off. Because even though these are thick, high quality, they're very nice, um, durable, you know, if you rip this top layer off too quickly like a Band-Aid, you're gonna rip the transfer. And they just release so easily. So with not that much effort, I'm not even pressing that hard on this, by the way. I mean, I'm pressing enough, I'm, I'm using enough pressure to get it off. 
but my hand doesn't hurt. Um, my husband keeps telling me to go to the doctor. I have hands. They just don't work like they used to. And they, they hurt, they hurt, um, with certain things that I do and this doesn't hurt my hands. So very nice Dixie Belle. Okay. So now I'm getting to the, the end here. This is where I like to be a little bit more meticulous on how I pull back that top layer, because again, I don't want to end up ripping it. Or sometimes when there's just that little tiny space left, um, that needs to come off that whole sheet will shift. So I just like to be careful and just really slowly pull that last section off, holding this piece in place so that it doesn't shift. See how I did that? And voila. And then I like to take my finger gently and just kind of rub the edges on. And when I say gently, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt the transfer. I don't want to rip it or pretty much sand it. I've got such dry hands from all the chemicals and paint. So it'd probably sand this thing right off if I went too hard. <laughs> my feet get dry too. My husband says I have 10 grit, 10 grit sandpaper feet. All right. So I just like to do that to make sure that there's no air bubbles. If there were an air bubble, um, I take, well, I don't have one handy, but an X-Acto knife, okay, those really skinny, precise razor knives, and I'll stick it underneath the air bubble just enough to release the air, and then I'll pat it down, and it goes away. But see how beautifully that's laid? Let's bring you in closer. Oh, thanks, Patty. Hand cramps. I do drink lots of water, take magnesium. Thank you for that. Yes, my hands. Oh my gosh. I can't even open a pickle jar anymore. Anyway, looks good, right? So the halo is very minimal. And once I seal this, it's going to go away. I mean, it's, it's, you can barely see it. Dixie Belle put a lot of thought into the quality of these transfers. And as an artist, especially I guess as a brand ambassador, I love that I can confidently stand behind this product and say, look, good quality, nice, thick, durable, minimal halo. And again, there is some haloing, but once I seal this and my, my preference in sealers is um, top coat and satin, love it. I use it 99% of the time. That's all going to pretty much disappear. Okay. So let's take a step back. And what do you guys think? So, I don't know, one more? What do you guys think? Kind of trailing up? What do you think, guys? Let me know. In the meantime, I'll check your comments. Any questions for me? Yes, Tammy, I painted this dresser live yesterday. Thank you. Um, but again, I ended up running out of time and had to do a lot of the, the blending after the fact. So yes, exactly, Yvonne. I know I feel like I'm speaking to the, the crowd that, you know, might struggle with a little bit of, you know, pain from either carpal tunnel, arthritis, etc. Yes, one more, one more, one more. And you guys like it there? You know, I have that in my Amazon cart. Do you like it? <laughs> I'm one of those that has like stuff just in the Amazon cart. So one more looks great. No, somebody says no. A couple people say no. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to answer me on that. And I'm going to put this project aside and bring out the next project that I have. So just bear with me a sec. I mean, I kind of like it in its simplicity too. But I think my, I don't know, my OCD is saying it needs something here. So I don't know. I'll think on it. All right. So let me just move this down. And... Let's switch gears. I wanted to 
demonstrate another one called Feel the Flowers. And I just have a big board here. So it's a wood board. My husband is cute. He created framing for the edging out of some scrap walnut we had. And I'm laughing at him like, hey, walnut's expensive. What are you doing? <laughs> He's kind of like me in the, the OCD sense. All right, so let me just get adjusted here. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So let's talk about the next transfer that I have for you guys, okay? This one's called Field of Flowers. Let me show you the tube. Oh, I'm totally upside down. Here we go. Okay, Field of Flowers transfer. This is a nice big one sizes you guys the sizes on these transfers by the way they vary as well as the sheet count so be prepared for that um but that's the front and then on the back like i said there's the whole layout so you can see what you get in the tubing and let me just kind of get it laid out for you guys here. It goes something like this. That's not helping with the light. But I don't know. I may or may not use these top pieces. I was thinking of maybe hand painting the sky in. Something that flows with this. Because that's something that, um, I don't know, good practice for me. So my thought was on this, I would take these transfers and line them up and just lay them down on the base here. So right now I'm just kind of positioning them. Okay, so I'll just have to eye it. I was gonna grab a pencil. All right, ready? Here we go. So I'm going to peel it off. That backing there, that protective backing. It's definitely odd doing it from this angle. Bear with me here. And I think I liked it right about there. So as of now, I am able to reposition it. And let's go with about there. So to me, that looks good. I'm ready to just apply a little bit of pressure just so it doesn't shift. And I need my stick. You guys seen my stick? There it is. I'm constantly losing these, these and tape measures. Okay, so now I'm just gonna burnish it in to the piece. So I start by doing a preliminary burnish, okay? Just enough to get it on there, maybe smooth out any bubbles that are underneath it. Just enough to get it on there totally flush. And since this is a big piece, I'm gonna turn my stick to the side and give it a good scraping. Okay, so this is actually going to be good. I could either cut this off with an X-Acto knife, okay, or I could rub it away. I'll show you both ways since we're going to be doing both parts. So I have an X-Acto knife here, and I'm just going to kind of carefully run it along the edge, and I'm letting the edge of the wood piece here be my guide, okay? So that's one way of removing that excess. I'll show you the other way when, when we do the other panel. So now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of focus on that corner that I cut off. And 
And let's put some focus over here on this edge. And let's begin to peel back. Oh, there's that squeaky table again. I find that it's easier to peel back the layers when it's one solid piece like this, but don't find yourself getting carried away like, oh, because it's all connected, it's coming off easily and just begin to rip it off. You definitely still want to take your time. I like to work my way on the outsides and work my way in. There's really, that's just how I do it. Um, you guys will find your groove. But the edges are the pieces that are gonna, I guess, get caught if you don't put some, I guess, a heavier focus on them, so. I like to get my edges nice and released, just in case this does shift on me. So I didn't say, actually, the base of this coated in burlap. That is this color by Dixie Bell. I suppose I could have put it right onto the raw wood, but because I thought that I, actually, I, kn I know I could have put it onto the raw wood. These transfers are great. But because I thought I might do something with the sky here, hand painted, I went ahead and got a base coat on there in burlap. Almost done, and then we'll get to the other one, and I will show you how to release that edge. Okay, so here we are, same thing. I'm gonna take my time here on this edge. Make sure that this top layer stays secure. There we go. What do you think? Yes, Yvonne, exactly. Look how fast it releases. I know. It's like a dream come true. You guys, I am not a patient person whatsoever. And honestly, if Dixie Bell had sent me some transfers that took forever to release, we would have been having a conversation. <laughs> Joe, this is not bare wood, um, but I bet it would have stuck to it. So that's the opposite, the underside of it. I coated it in burlap. Okay, so let's do the other side. Let's get it lined up and I'm gonna show you how without using an X-Acto knife, how to get that edge on there secure. Okay. This transfer is prettier on here than it is on the tube. I mean, it's pretty on the tube, but seeing it live like this, very nice. Okay. So, just gonna line them up. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so same thing. I have it on there where I, I want it. Let's just smooth it down. Push out any air that might be underneath it. Okay, so the first time to release the edge here, the excess, I, okay, so I had used an X-Acto knife to cut it away. 
sometimes I will just use my stick like you see I'm doing here and just kind of fold it on down and use the stick to kind of create a cut in the transfer. Now, these are thicker transfers. So you'll wanna make sure that you give it a nice good rub down so that it does release because they are thicker and want to, they want to stay together. But same thing here on the edge. And let's focus on the edges here one more time and then we can release the top layer. Here we go. Releasing super easy. Again, I gave you the whole spiel. My hands hurt these days. They do not hurt. And I'm just taking my time, making sure that every inch is burnished. Wow, that's so good. I'm just looking at the seam here. Not even, it's really not even noticeable. Very good. So again, I'm gonna start working on the edges here because those are the ones, or that's the part that I don't want to snag. So let's just go ahead and get the edges released. Let's release a little bit more of this. So as I do this, I'm watching because you'll start to see, and it doesn't really happen a lot with these, but you know, if I start to see that maybe some areas are lifting up or getting a little crinkly, I want to take the time to, while this is on here, rub them in. And they should, um, I guess, layer out or level out the self-leveling transfer. <laughs> Almost done here. I do not know, Joe. Joe wants to know how much. I do not have the retail price on these yet. Um, I think that that's still in the works, but I can say because there's varying transfer sizes and sheet counts that the price will vary depending on how much, I guess, you get in a tube. All right, so I'm going to begin to peel. Let me come around this way because I want to begin to peel away that edge without tearing the transfer. You're welcome, Joe. You guys, these are just two of the transfers. There's a whole plethora of other designs to choose from. And as I said in the beginning of this video, the whole day today is dedicated to brand ambassadors showing you two transfers in the line of their choice. So because I did that, that rubbing on the edge here, see how it created a cut line, like a perfect cut line. And then I guess it's just making it easier for me to pull it away. And I'm not going to have to do a whole lot of, I guess, tucking or wrapping over the side. I think I like the X-Acto knife approach better. Only because I cut it off and it's done. 
This has taken me a little bit longer because I just want to make sure that that's releasing. But if that's not the route you want to go, this is definitely another option for you. Okay, almost done. Getting to that tiny spot. We're going we're gonna to relax now. <laughs> and make sure that the protective sheet here doesn't shift. Here we go. Here we go. So I do have a little bit of fraying happening just on this edge here. See it? It's okay. I'm just going to use my hand or my finger. And just wrap it down. So see how crisp that edge is? Yeah, you guys just saw my house shoes. <laughs> All right, so let me put this back up here. And give you a view of it. So field of flowers transfer. Pretty, right? It would be pretty on a piece of furniture, but I thought, well, let's do some wall art because I wanted to show you guys these transfers. You don't have to just use them for furniture. You can use them for perhaps some DIY decor. Um, small items, big items, whatever you fancy. But I know it's probably hard to see, but the seams took pretty good to each other too. And I do like to just run my hand over it. Feel for any air bubbles that may have been created and kind of smooth them down. You can also okay. You can also take that top layer if you wanted and come back over it like this just to make sure if you're not feeling comfortable using your hand. Okay? Just to really make sure that it's in there good. Any questions before I let you go and have coffee? <laughs> it's still early here. Well, sort of. Like I said, I was up till two in the morning looking at that sunflower piece. That is really late for me and not a night owl. All right. Yeah, Rashonda, great question. Can they be distressed once they're applied? Yes. I have a little bit of a scrap here. If I have a little piece of scrap wood, I can show you that really, really quick. All right, let's see. Just looking for something to slap it on. There we go. Okay, so now <laughs> this piece of wood is old and dirty. I normally wouldn't do this. I would clean it at the very least. But let's just quickly rub that on. I mean, so quick that, actually this is good. Look how easily it's releasing without even really trying. Boom. Let's just get it on there nice and good. And let's grab a medium rad pad, okay, and the stress. Maybe I just want the edges distressed. Let some of that wood peek back out. Now keep in mind these are thick transfers. Again, they're not super thick. I don't want you guys thinking that they're Thick, like you know, heavy stock, hard stock, or not, but 
thicker. Um, so depending on how deep you want to go, you might take a little bit more time to distress. Do you see it stressing there? And depending on what I'm going for, I would grab a different type of sandpaper. This is flexible, so I'm kind of having a hard time being precise. But these are wonderful. It's just what I had handy. So let's take a look. I'm glad you asked that. So I got a little bit, especially on this side of that wood peeking through. And again, if I were to seal this, my guess is that wood's gonna pop out even more. So to answer your question, yes, they can be distressed. So Brenda, um, these transfers will not be available on the market for at least I think a couple of weeks. Um, you'll just have to keep your eye out. We will make the announcement when they're available for purchase, but very, very soon. Yeah, me too. That was a really good question. Thanks for asking. I think it was Yvonne that asked that. Thank you for that. Yes, that was the look uh, that she was hoping for on wood. Yeah, I like it. I'm inspired. I might have to revisit that look. Okay, guys. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining me today and engaging with me. I'm going to come back, check the comments, make sure I didn't miss anything pertinent. Um, Joyce, I'm going to seal it with, uh, or at least the, the sunflower piece that I began with, with clear coat and satin. But you can use other means to seal. So you can wax. If your choice or your preference is wax for a sealer, you can wax over them. Don't wax under them, okay? but you can wax over the, the transfers. You guys are so welcome. Thanks for joining me. Okay, it wasn't you, Yvonne. Yeah, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you guys for watching me. Leah, tag your it. So you guys stay tuned. It is, well, 10.39 my time. Um, Leah will be on in 21 minutes and she's gonna be doing her demo on two of her transfer choices, so. Very exciting day for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.